Now let's look at this figure 21-3, and it deals with Class II Division I locations. And it gives a laundry list and the boxed-in information uh, what is considered a Class II Division I a type location. And you see you have grain elevators and uh, bulk uh, handling facilities is the bullet one. Uh, then if you drop down to the uh, bottom bullet, you have manufacturing uh, plants and things of that nature. But notice uh, you have the different locations that are considered locations that would be classified class two division one locations. And notice that when you deal with dust, you have uh, dust in the air and you have uh, layers of dust settling, such as this wood shop uh, area that you see here. Uh, they would have a lot of dust in the air if they didn't have a dust collection system and uh, they didn't have a ventilation uh, properly. And in the uh, covers and guards there, OSHA 1910 subpart E, that's been uh, D, it's been changed to E as an E. So uh, recognize that uh, uh, if you're looking for covers and guards, that's now subpart E to OSHA 1910. Now, uh, you know, in the NFPA 499, if you can stick out your thumb out and see it, you're usually not in an explosive area in a dust cloud. If you can see visibility three to five feet and, and you know, make out equipment and people w uh, walking around and stuff, you, uh, you know, you're usually not in an uh, area that is considered an explosive area due to dust. But this is a rule of thumb and, you, you know, you want to use caution. And then remember, if you have dust uh, layers on the floor or on beams, ducts, and things like that, then that would be NFPA 654 that you would get in review uh, to see when those, that became problems. And they have formulas in there to uh, determine when you have a formula. But dust that settles, as you'll see coming up in illustrations, uh, is when there's a, over an eighth of an inch, then you're in an explosive range with dust gathering on equipment. And that's what NFPA 499 uh, is used for us when dust collects on equipment. NFPA 654 is used when dust collects on steel beams uh, and other areas and floors and things like that, but not on the equipment. NFPA 654. Uh, so these are some of the basic rules, but... Uh, We'll be getting into all this in more depth through this chapter 21 uh, to stock up uh, uh, Designing Electrical System book, uh, Volume 2. And that's what this figure 21-3 is illustrating, is when the dust is there all the time. And when the dust is there all the time, either in layers or clouds, then you have to be cautious and determine when it's in such a state, it could be in an explosive range. And again, that's what our figure 21-3 is illustrating to the user of the NEC.